Let's learn about polynomial vocabulary and adding and subtracting. What do you call a parrot that won't eat? A polynomial. Polynomial. On the agenda, we're going to go through a lot of new vocabulary. We're going to name polynomials by their degree and their number of terms, and then we'll look at adding and subtracting them. Let's get ready. You definitely want to get these vocabulary words into your notes. Take notes throughout the video. Grab your notes and a pencil. So this is a polynomial. What do you notice? Maybe you notice there's certainly a lot of numbers. There's some plus and minuses. So all of these numbers before the variables and this one by itself, those are called coefficients. The three and the two are exponents. This whole group is called a term. So we have four terms. Terms are separated by plus and minus signs. So there's a lot going on there. Let's get a little more specific. So did you notice that my exponents go down in decreasing order? Three, two, when there's not one written, that is an assumed one there. And then this would be like x to the zero because x to the zero is one. So we call this standard form. And all of your answers, your final answer should be written in standard form so that your exponents go in decreasing order, three, two, one, zero. I mentioned the word coefficient. So the number in front of the variables are the coefficient. And this number four is called the leading coefficient once it's put in standard form. The degree of the polynomial is the highest exponent. So this is a third degree polynomial. And as I pointed out, there are four terms here. Terms are separated by a plus or minus sign. So you need to know all of this vocabulary and then be able to apply it. When I ask you to classify polynomials, that means you're going to name them according to two things, their degree and their number of terms. So let's take a look. These are just examples. So first I have just the plain old number three. So that one, again, has kind of just an x to the zero. We're gonna call that a constant. And number of terms, there's only one there. So that means mono, mono means one. So this is a monomial. In my second example of x plus four, when there is not an exponent written, it's an assumed one. So I have an x to the one. And anytime something is to the first degree, that means if I went to graph it, it would look like a line. So we're going to call these linear. And I have two terms. I have the x and I have the four, again, separated with that addition sign. So two terms is binomial. Bi like bicycle with two wheels. Bi means two. One, one, two. In our third example, we have x squared minus six. So my degree is the two, and anything that is squared is called a quadratic. Again, this has two terms, so all together, this would be called a quadratic binomial. I have another quadratic in my fourth example. Again, the leading, uh, the highest degree is the degree of the polynomial. So this is another quadratic, but now this one has three terms. Can you think of a term for three? That would be the word trinomial, like tricycle. So three terms, quadratic. When we look at the next example, my degree is three. So the word for three is going to be cubic. And I have four terms. So anytime we go beyond three, we're just going to call it a polynomial. Poly means many. So those are all the words you need to know for terms, mono one by two, try three, and anything beyond that would be a polynomial. We're gonna keep going because the next one I have a degree of four, and the word to describe that is going to be quartic, kind of like four quarts in a gallon. And I have three terms, so this is a quartic trinomial. And my last one is fifth degree, and that's going to be quintic, like quintuplets. And that's a binomial because I have two terms. Anything beyond there, you would just say sixth degree, seventh degree, eighth degree. Now, please don't memorize that these go together and everything is a linear binomial. It's just however many, what your degree is and how many terms you are. 
um, and that's how we're going to classify. So let's practice. I'd like you to pause it here, try to write down number of degree words and number of term words, and then we'll go over it. Okay, so the first one, my degree is four, so that means that's quartic, and I have two terms, so that is a quartic binomial. This is in standard form, my highest degree is two, so that's gonna be quadratic, and there are three terms, so that's a trinomial. And then we have a third degree, that word is cubic, one, two, three, four, so we're gonna call that a polynomial. When we're adding polynomials, we wanna combine like terms. And like terms mean they have the exact same variable group. Something like an x to the three and a negative five x to the three. They both have an x to the three so that we can combine them. We can go ahead and add or subtract them. You're going to have to then classify your final answer and you should make sure it's in standard form first. So let's go ahead and try this. Uh, my first example, I have 3x squared and 4x squared. Those have the same variable group. And when we add them, I add the numbers so I get 7, but do not change the variable group. So that's going to stay x squared. And then I just have this 5x kind of all by itself, so plus 5x. And then I have negative 8 and negative 12. It is addition, so that becomes negative 20. And I went through in such a way that I collected my highest to my lowest, so it is in standard form. I'm going to classify it. It has a 2 there, so this is a quadratic. And three terms makes it a trinomial. Let's try this one. I do notice it's kind of all in a crazy order. It is addition. I have a 4 and a 4, so that's 8 minus 2, which is 6x to the 4. I don't have anything to go with my 3, so that will be plus 3x cubed. Nothing to go with my 6x, so plus 6x. And then I have minus 2 and minus 5 for a negative 7. It is in standard form because my exponents are decreasing. My highest exponent is a 4, which is going to make this one quartic polynomial. Let's try subtraction. You're going to subtract like terms just the same. Put your answer in standard form. Classify it by degree and number of terms. Just be careful of this negative. So for my first one, we have 2x squared and a 5x squared, but I'm subtracting. So 2 minus 5 is a negative 3x squared. And then I have negative 8x minus a negative 3x. So negative 8 minus a negative 3 is the same as negative 8 plus 3, which is negative 5. So I have minus 5x. And then I have 6 minus a negative 9, which is the same as 6 plus 9. So that's going to be plus 15. That would be my answer right in there. And um, I'm going to classify it. So this is a quadratic trinomial. You can notice we're going to have a lot of those. Let's try the next one. I see my x to the fourth. So it is subtraction. So 11 minus 7 is 4x to the fourth. I have a negative 5, so minus 5x squared. And then I have negative 9 minus 2 for minus 11. That's my final answer in standard form. My degree is 4, so we have a quartic trinomial. These notes should get into your notebook. Standard form, exponents in decreasing order. Leading coefficient, it's the number in front of the largest variable. Terms are separated by the plus and minus signs. We're going to classify the number of terms, mono, binomial, trinomial, and then greater than three is polynomial. Classify by degree, 
x to the 0 is constant, x to the 1 is linear, x to the 2 is quadratic, x to the 3 is cubic, x to the 4 is quartic, x to the 5 is quintic. When you add, you combine like terms, and when you subtract, you also combine like terms. Just be careful with that subtraction sign. Good job.